Yo, what's going on YouTube? Lejoom here. I'm now back into another video. Now, as you can see in today's video, we'll be going over the brand new major artifact called the Void Tech Transponder. Now, this does come with Hawkeye's DLC, so I'll be showing you get the steps and how to obtain this new major artifact. And also, I'll be showing you this artifact in action. So, before we get into the video, if you guys go to enjoy it and you liked it, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell as well, so you miss a video and always be notified when I upload a video. And most importantly, make sure you guys hit that like button. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright now for step one, it is very easy to obtain to be honest. All you have to do is complete the future imperfect campaign to obtain step one. Now the objectives that do come with step one, you have to defeat 500 enemies in the wasteland region. And the second one is you have to open up 25 strong boxes in the wasteland region. And the third one is to defeat 75 enemies with takedowns in the wasteland region. Now to be honest, to help you with the third one, um, you don't have to complete this with Hawkeye at all. You can use Captain America, and you guys know with Captain America, with him using Brooklyn Brawl, you can basically do, uh, do takedowns on enemies that have a low health, and it's very easy to fly through it with Captain America when it comes to takedowns. So, you know, just take a you know take a little break on Hawkeye and just do this with um, Captain America so you can fly through it very easily. So that is step one, and that is how you get past step one. So if you're going to get on to step two, basically step two is basically the, um, the you and the funeral uh, mission. Now, this is the only mission in the Wastelands if you go to the Avengers Initiative for multiplayer. So this is very easy to do. It's legit no problem at all to do this mission. It's a threat sector, so it's really not that much going on. So that's how you complete step two. Now, step three, this is when everything gets kind of difficult uh, for people. So we're going to get into that real quick. Alrighty now for step three, this step is called In Pursuit of Maestro. And these uh, this step is basically you have to do two villain sectors for Maestro. Now if you check on the Avengers Initiative, you will see there's only one mission to run. Now this is when things get a little bit difficult. You have to uh, go offline. You have to go to your PS5 or your Xbox and just turn off uh, the internet uh, for your console. Then you load up Avengers. Then you go on. If you get lucky, you're able to see the two villain sectors uh, for Maestro. You have to go to the Shield Substation Zero. Then you will be able to see uh, the two villain sectors for Maestro. The Sympathy in the Gamma Key and the Days of Anger. Now, you have to complete these villain sectors. They are pretty straightforward and they're pretty fun, to be honest. And I like him. It was, it, I don't know why you have to go offline to really do it. Now, there are some instance, instances where I've seen people were able to get it off of just a reset. So basically, you, if you get lucky enough, if it's, if it's a reset, then you'll be able to get it. Now, if you're not getting it, just go offline. And there's a high percentage that you will get it because I've seen a lot of people go offline and they're able to get it. And once you obtain these missions, if you're going offline, uh, go turn your internet back on on your console, then do the missions because next step is going to require a lot so if we get on to step four then that's when you obtain the major artifacts so let's get into step four all right for the last step is called evil ends now evil ends for this objective you have to defeat taskmaster maestro abomination the warship and the warbot now currently in the game right now if you run elite villain sectors they will disappear from your war table and I don't know if there's the way they could come back, to be honest. So I would say do not run this. You don't have to do the villain sectors himself to complete this. I learned it the hard way because I uh, some of my villain sectors did disappear. So there's a way you can do this. You don't have to do it. Now, I'm going to let you not guys know where you go to complete these steps without having to do villain sectors. Now, for the first one is the Abomination. If you go to the Heart of the Monster, the Heart of the Monster is in the Utah Badlands. It's the Hulk Iconic mission. And you don't have to play as Hulk to do that mission you can play as any character that you want to and the second one for taskmaster is the bad blood is in the pacific pacific northwest now for the third one for the warship is the mayhem over manhattan is in the eastern seaboard and for the warbot is the agony in the anthill is in the utah badlands and for the last one for maestro just go to the campaign version of future imperfect and do the future imperfect mission where you're able to fight maestro then you will be able to obtain the new artifact so we're gonna get on to the overview of just the artifact in general and just show you what it looks like in action so we're finna get into it now let's go all right y'all so as you see right here this is the void tech transponder um this is the gear perks that come along with it and as you see right here the gear perks are actually looking good so we're going to go over the gear perks first and just show you what it looks like in action so you see right here we got the particle accelerator it says increases the amount of particle damage dealt with any attack by 30 percent 
So that is pretty good if you're rocking a particle uh, build. Say for instance, you got signature attacks uh, on your particle for Thor, or just a character in general using particle damage and if they a status effect heavy, this is a must. You have to get this because that's a flat out 30% damage increase right there already. And the second one is pretty nice as well. It's an increase the duration of active particle status by six seconds. So for what I'm getting from this, basically if you already have them affected um, by particle um, status effect and they're shrunken, it increases it, I mean, increase the duration of it by six seconds. So that's pretty cool right there because you guys know what PIM, uh, basically once they're shrunken, they take more damage and they do less damage to you as well. So that's pretty cool right there to have a duration, a six, sec a six second duration on it. So that's pretty dope. And the distress signal. Now y'all remember in my videos when I was talking about how there's a new major artifact coming with where you can summon Hank Pym, right? This is the art, this is it right here. So you see the distress, distress signal. Uh, press L3 and R3 simultaneously to summon Hank Pym to attack enemies with particle damage. So I have not used it yet. I have not seen it in action. So we finna see what it looks like and just, yeah, just see my reaction to it to be honest. So let's see what it looks like. Uh, let me summon the Hank Pym right here. Wait, yeah. Oh, back, wait, hold on. Oh, he missed. Oh, imagine. Oh, he really does hit. Oh, nice. Oh, it's the full thing, too. Yeah, we got him on the rope. Oh, he shrunk him. Let's see. Let's shoot that. Oh, okay. He actually does. He, he fully applies the status effect, too. Is he going to hit somebody else? So it looks like he actually takes damage as well when he's getting hit. That's pretty dope. I like that. Oh, he just shrunk that dude over there. Oh, that's dope. I like that. Nice. I ain't gonna lie. That's pretty dope. The resistance will always have your back. All right, and he's gone. Low key, that was pretty dope. That was pretty dope. I like that. I think he stayed out for like a minute right there. That was pretty dope. I like that. The fact that he could just once once he hit him with the um the pimp like the cannon, it instantly shrinks him. So they're instantly affected by the status effect. And I think the um the particle uh, um ionizer uh stat applies to this one as well because they stay you know in the status effect for a, for a bit longer to be honest than I expected. So honestly, it looks pretty cool. I like it. It's just something brand new to the game. You no, know, hopefully they can bring some more like this where we can summon like another character that is, you know, that's probably might not come to the game, but the fact that we can summon them like this. Say for instance, we can summon like um, Maria Hill or um, Nick Fury or just something like that. Just something or like another character like War Machine or something. Just in general, just something like, just to make it look out the box, to be honest, something like this. Because honestly, I like this. I like the artifact like this. We could summon people and it's actually something brand new to the game. So, um, yeah, I have to say, I actually like this artifact. I'll probably go end up using it anyway because um, just that particle accelerator, it is, it's too good to not to have not have it if, if you're running particle damage. If you're not, then, you know, you don't, it don't really bother you. But if you're running something with particle damage, you this is a must. Screw the tactic gun. Sh screw the tactic gun. This 30% flat-out damage increase right there, if you use particle damage, it's a must need. It's a must need. But um, yeah, that is basically the new artifact, the Void Tech Transponder. Let me know how you guys feel about it in the comments below. If you guys like it, you like something brand new like this, um, you know, just leave your feedback in comments below and see if we can get more things like this. Cause honestly, I like it. But um, yeah, that's the end of today's video. I really guys enjoyed it, the video as I enjoyed making it. Um, before we head out, if you guys are not, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to turn on post notifications to miss a video and also be notified when I upload a video. And most importantly, make sure you guys hit that like button. As you guys don't know as well, I do have a Discord. It's called the Junior Cave. We go over everything dealing with Marvel's Avengers. You got some nice outriders, just games in general. So if you guys want to join it, the link is below as well. And also, I do stream on Twitch. So if you guys want to come out to the Twitch streams, the link is below for that one as well. Also, I do have memberships on the channel. So if you guys want to know more information about that below, that is in, uh, available to you. I'm going to give a quick shout out to the Elite members and the Rick members. Shout out to y'all being, shout out to y'all being memberships on the channel. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. But um, yeah, let's join here, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and have a good day. Peace.